Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anthony Carey, Jr., and today I'm going to teach you how to solve a problem on averages. Now, this particular problem came directly from the GMAT standardized test. The GMAT, as you know, folks, is the standardized test used for students who are attempting to go into business school. Well, if you have a little fun with me today, I'll be more than happy to answer all questions. Make sure you understand the problem, and we'll have a little fun doing so. So come with me. Folks, averages are used in all walks of life, all professions, whether you're an accountant trying to find out the average net worth of your clients, or a zookeeper if you're trying to find out the average number of pandas left in captivity. So any way you look at it, you're going to need to learn how to solve average problems. So this particular problem, I'm going to read it to you first, then I'm going to take you over to the whiteboard and break down how to solve this. On a geography quiz, Emily and Catherine scored an average of 80 points. If Catherine and Julia scored an average of 85 points, how many more points did Julia earn than Emily? Well, folks, as you can see, this problem has a few steps to it. Come on over to the whiteboard and let's get started. The answers that were given were as follows. Answer A is 15. Answer B is 10. C is 7.5. D is 5. And E is cannot be determined with the information given. Well, in order to solve problems regarding averages, we'd like to use this pie chart I'd like to bring you over to this pie chart where we're going to discuss the total number of people involved the average and the number of items or people this is the chart that has a relationship where you take the number of people multiply the average to get the total you take the total and divide by the number of people and get your average. Or you can take the total and divide by your average to get the number of people. And they work hand in hand. So we're going to take this philosophy and apply it to the information we know. Because as you know, when we solve word problems, we need to know what was given, what they're really trying to find out, and what order of operation we need to use. And in this case, they've given us the average. And we also know the number of persons, so we're going to fill that information in. On the first chart, Emily and Kate, two people. Emily and Kate's average was 80. On the Kate and Julia chart, again, two people, and their average was 85. Now, coming back to our model, we know that we must multiply across to get the total number. And we have to get the total number to answer the question, which is, what's the difference between Julia and Emily? So, let's do the math. In the first chart, we know 2 times 80 is 160. And 2 times 85 is 107. These numbers represent Julia and Emily. Now, the one thing in the middle that's common is Kate. She's the variable. And we know that because they're asking about Julie and Emily, and Kate has a relationship with both, that we're going to have to take the difference of 170 and 160 to solve for the answer. And as we know, that answer is letter B, 10. Now, we want to check to find out how do we get this. Well, we have to make sure the math is right. Oftentimes, people jump and go for the right, the quick first answer that they're thinking of, which, called, which is called the trap answer. And in this case, the trap answer is letter D, 5. And the reason why is because they read that the average of Kate and Julie is 85, and the average of Emily and Kate is 80, and instantly they think, oh, there's a difference of 5, so that must be the answer. No, 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 that's not correct. We have to take our time and break down the relationship between both parties. So in this case, to check the math, you know that 2 times 80 is 160, 2 times 85 is 170. You know that 170 divided by 2 is 85, 170 divided by 85 is 2. 
On this side, 160 divided by 80 is 2. 160 divided by 2 is 80. And again, we verify that both pie charts are correct. And because the question is asking how many more points did Julie have than Emily, we then understand to subtract the 170 and 160, which gives us 10. All right. Does anyone have any questions, concerns, issues, or ideas? Please ask. I'd love to answer. If not, thank you for your time. My name is Anthony Carey.